welcome back everybody it is Catrice I told y'all we were gonna do a couple of videos tonight or today but it is now night so here we are this will be a resin mold and a making of a mold and everything is gonna be a part one and part two but it'll be combined by the time you guys get to see it because this is a two-day process so this board is only because I need a hard surface if I'm going to make a mold. I'm making a mold of this cigar ashtray. I'm making a mold of this little bowl. And I'm making a mold of this glass dish. Each one of them require having a dish around it to make a mold. So that is the process of mold making, right? Okay, so and this board is just wide enough for everything. In thinking about that, I have to go and get my hot glue gun because we need to seal the perimeter of these so that when I mix this, it doesn't come out. So since we know that this is going to be a later situation, we are going to come back to this. So that's it. that is what this board was for anyway. So I'm going to move this aside and leave the vinyl up there because I have to show you what that's for. We will use this, 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 and this letter mold. So this is actually a candy mold from Amazon. So you would put chocolates in it and whatnot. We are going to attempt to use this to do this. This was a purchase. Well, it wasn't a purchase. She gifted it to me. Uh, I always forget her name, but she does resin and she does it using uh, cremation. Cremation Creations, I believe the name is. And um, she made this and this. And another friend of mine seen me open my package when I received it and uh, wanted one. So I ordered the mold to make little short roach clips. I already make the long ones. You've already seen my video. By the way, go back and watch that. Subscribe to this one so you can catch all of the videos. Turn your notification bell on. That way you know when these videos hit. I also have this big old mold here. And it comes with the light so we're gonna do this also so with that being said we know we're working with resin I think I need a P and an R in purple because one of my clients or customers I should say just placed an order and I like to give them something when they do that and I'm gonna make a keychain in her color purple I think her name I'm gonna have to get up anyway. So what was I getting up before? The hot glue gun and uh, I need to check to make sure that the person's name is what it is. All right, we are back. We have our hot glue gun, which we're gonna still wait and do that later. And I have my order and the name starts with an R. So we know we need to make an R, but I'll make a few. So. First things first, I am using Fast Cure Resin Part A and Part B, so it really won't take all day to do, all night to do, rather. I won't really have to wait until tomorrow morning, I think, maybe five hours, but we're going to use that because, like I said, it's Fast Cure. So, and we know we want purple. When working with resin, make sure you have your gloves. I have a fan going right now, and I have my mask. So, we are going to get ready and put the mask on. Whenever there's a quiet moment, there will be music playing for you guys. And if the video gets lengthy, I'll speed it up. I just want to give you a little heads up on that, that that's what the process will be. So, I'm masking up now.
Okay, now I'll come in and give you guys a little bit of audio, little voiceover. So what I did so far is just mix part one and part two of the resin. I felt like I did a video a couple of times on how to do this. And if you do resin, you pretty much already know how to mix it. But just to go over it, make sure you have on your protective gear. Make sure you mix part A and part B. Again, I'm using the fast cure, so I really don't have a whole lot of uh, work time with it. I typically mix my resin for about three minutes. And then I add whatever additives I'm going to use, whether it be glitter, whether it be uh, mica powder, whether it be uh, alcohol inks or acrylic paint. Um, I add that and then I continue to mix it for about another one or two minutes. And then once I get it to the consistency that I like, which means a little bit thicker, so that I know that all my glitter, especially, is not going down to the bottom. That's when I start pouring. So that's what I did with those letters you see me pour. And then you uh, the green leaves. So they're not poured all the way to the top. Now you see me kind of going back in, adding a little bit more. Because like I said, sometimes glitter, if you're using that, it likes to sink to the bottom. And then you'll have a little, I guess, a little light area. So I like to let that sit a little bit and then come back. And then add a little bit more and fill the rest of the, the mold the rest of the way. So that's where we are. The alcohol you see me using is uh, to pop any bubbles that might be there. Because sometimes when you mix these things, you get like this little white kind of kind of uh, colony of bubbles at the top of your resin. If you spray 91% alcohol on the back of that, most of the time that goes away. So that's what you see me doing there when you see me using the alcohol. This is me just making another batch of uh, uh, epoxy so that I can fill that other mold, fill the the grinder. <laughs> I'm laughing, y'all, because I realized when I filled that grinder, I filled it the wrong way. So when you're watching me do this, please note if you have grinders and you've never used them before, the way that I have those sitting is not the way that they are to be poured. I didn't realize that until today when I uh, unmolded, which you'll see in this video <laughs> when we get further. So, <coughs> excuse me. With that being said, I am, like I said, mixing another batch of epoxy and then i will uh give this video a little bit more speed and a little bit more music and then we'll 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 get back to it see you in a second cigar mold that was made for me this is what the mold looks like and I think with the rest of it I'm gonna do this uh, grinder so I'm gonna have the cigar mold and a grinder for herb just to see what it turns out like and I'm gonna use this pretty color right here normally I do things in green because it's my favorite color however I just finished with some green over here and I didn't want to do any more green so this is where we are. 
I'm pouring all of my fast cure epoxy into this cup. And then we're gonna start mixing. And yeah, let me put my mask back on and we're gonna get right to it. All right, here I am just kind of giving you another overview of the leaves I poured. And remember y'all, that is a candy mold ordered from Amazon. And you can definitely use those when you are dealing with resin. Um, then this, these are the letters that I poured. So now they're uh, all the way to the top. And another look at the green. You see the one that's a little lighter green. That is actually... Uh, okay, here is everything we poured tonight. Acrylic paint. And now this is just another view of the rest the of the gold that I poured once I was done pouring into the that the baby ashtray. right there. So those are the grinders. And remember what I told y'all? That is not the way they should have been poured. That is so wrong. That And that is the other little pieces. So normally when I work with resin, I keep little small molds around me so that I have, if I have any extra, I don't waste it. But I wanted you to pay attention to something. If you can pay attention to the cigar mold, it has like a, see that one? Even that one does too. Like that, that colony of white in the middle is what I was talking about when you can just spritz alcohol on it and that'll go away. This is just another view of that. So... I am going to cut this short and because I think this is it. That's all we can do tonight, really, until tomorrow. So I'm going to let that sit. I like to cover it. And then tomorrow I'll come back. Well, you'll see it tonight with this video. But once we've done that, that's all you can do until it cures. So the waiting game starts now. I'm done. I am done. I am going to bed. We will see what this looks like tomorrow. Okay. Hi, it's Catrice. Welcome back to the next shack. Guess what today is? Demolding. So yesterday, you saw me create uh, some letters, some uh weed leaves uh, a couple of pairs of earrings and an ashtray actually the design of the ashtray is my actual logo created by um jaded ice which is uh, roll up and resin so that's what we are doing today we are going to demold those projects i'm going to bring the camera down a little bit so you guys can see Cause you don't need to be looking at me. You don't need to be looking at me. You ain't come to see that. So the first thing we're gonna do is demold these earrings. Now, I purposely because because I never really know how these go. I did one where I left the floor de lis out, and I did one where the whole floor de lis is covered. So we're gonna see. What that looks like i guess it could go either way i can just take that apart i'll file that down so with this one it's, it's kind of dope i guess i'll put it up there for you guys to see it the the glitter i used in this one is uh rose gold so when i did this one I, uh, oops, oops, I did not cover the top part of the floor de lis using it. So that's what that looks like. So that was a test. That'll be a cute pendant since they don't match his earrings. So I just need to clean them up a little bit, which I can stick a file in there and file those little excess pieces down. But it's kind of dope. All right. Damn, I, I should have threw it like that. Like, I don't really care about it. Then I picked it up and threw it back. <laughs> This is what it'll look like if when when I covered the entire floor delete. So um, I'm not sure if any who will want an earring that looks 
like this with the whole floor of the leaf covered in the inside or maybe the consistency is to color that a different color so that at least that part is different but if i'm not mistaken there's no real way to do that the only way to do that is to cover around it and let that set and then come back and fill the rest of the mold with the rest yeah i don't think i'm interested in selling these earrings i only keep these little molds around when i'm pouring resin and i have some access so that's what that looks like but if any of you guys watching has done a pair show me put it in the comments come to my facebook group which is uh clubhouse crafting crew and uh post your work i love to see it uh it's still curing this was the fast mold cure that i used but it's yeah, not really that bendable but yeah so that is that that came from this mold here's another set of rose gold uh floor de lee earrings that will demold these are actually much better because it's just the floor de lee it's pretty very pretty i like those a lot i like this mold so much better that's dope yeah i'm gonna hook them up tonight those are dope that came from this mold this is a bowl i could never get out so i'm gonna have to wait till i do get home to take that out because i fight with this i hate this mold but i love the end result of the mold I guess I can get up and show you what that'll look like and then tell you what I'm doing with this. So give me a second. This mold makes these, these cute little bowls. This is an all purple one and this one is clear resin with the blue rim. And what I'm going to do is put them in uh, a resin tray and this will be another edition of the rolling trays that I do but just a smaller version so that's what these are for and this one will be rose gold I ain't gonna be able to get that out of there so I, I apologize y'all won't be able to see it <laughs> but maybe in the finished at the end of this video it'll be out and you get to see what it looks like all right that's that this is a skull mold as you can see there that it kind of just pops out of it it's a straw topper so again like i said i keep extra molds like small little molds around when i'm pouring resin just in case i have some extra and whatever color that is i use it to make this and this would be the second one because I already have a green one and I'll put these on my website to sell. They are uh, straw toppers. Yeah, that's kind of, that's dope. That is that. This is one part of the, what is that thing called? Grinder? And this is the other part. I don't smoke, so I really don't know how this works. I don't think that's right. So I'm not sure about that. Oh, oh, you so stupid, Catrice. You so stupid. <laughs> I think I poured it in wrong. I think, I don't know. Well, obviously this is not right. I think I poured it, I should have poured it this way because I want the spikes. Well, that was a waste. It's a cute wheel. I guess it could be used for something. We ain't gonna throw it out. I don't know what I use it for, but that's dope. Not really, not so much. So I now know that you pour it inside here. But then how how does it We'll see. I'll try that again. I'm gonna try that again with this pretty purple that I said I was gonna use, but I wind up using the rose gold anyway, so I'll do this in purple. That's hilarious. 
Yeah, y'all gonna see these. I mess up. Hey, it is what it is. Now, ooh, ooh, I love this mold. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can see, looking at it, it's the I and a G for imposing gestures, and this is a cigar ashtray mold. Or I guess you can use it for your cigarettes if if you a smoker. So I'm pulling it out of the mold, guys. And we're going to both see this thing together. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You understand me? I don't think y'all understand me. Look at that. See, imposing gestures down inside of that. I don't know if you can see my name engraved inside there. That is beautiful. Now I attempted to make that another color, but it's engraved in there. So I'm going to try to color that another color so that it stands out. But look at it. You lay your cigar right here. I wish I had one in here. Ah, uh, that paintbrush is wet, so we ain't gonna play with that. We ain't got time for that. But yeah, you just lay it right there. It's a little ashtray for your imposing gestures. Ashtrays, I am so happy. What? My God. My God. Jade, you are the shh that. That's dope. That is beautiful. Oh, I'm doing another one. We gonna, Every time I pour, I'm pouring in this. <laughs> Let's look at the, the these. I did these, okay, because remember I told you guys, I got these from a lady that uh, comes into our clubhouse group and she does resin, but with her resin, she does uh, cremation so the cremations of your loved one, if you lost the pet, she'll make you something using those, uh, using the, the ashes, I should say. But this doesn't have ashes in it. She just made these and she sent it out to me. And when I opened my package, a friend of mine decided she wanted some. So I bought some of these. And again, this is a, this is a, a bacon cooking mold. So that's what I used to make these and I bought these on Amazon which I'm gonna cut down and make this so yeah that's where we are so we're gonna see what the uh how it holds up and that is the leaves we're gonna drill a hole and put that in there yes we are yes we are that's beautiful. Oh my God, y'all! I'm so happy with the uh, with the outcome. I am so happy with the outcome. The only other thing I have left, I have another another one of this. And you know what else I like about this mold? I don't know if you guys know this, but when you whatever texture your mold is, like if it's a dull mold. Your items are gonna be dull. This one's kind of shiny inside, so it slightly gives a little shine. Plus, it helps that I use glitter. But if you want this to be shiny, even if you're using a dull mold, just hit it with uh, put on the finger condom <laughs> and hit it with a little epoxy. Yeah, 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 baby. That's beautiful. Y'all ever look at y'all work and say that? Oh my God, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. All right, let's get to the letters, guys. Let's get to the letters. If you guys want to see me um, put these together and, and do all of my other keychains, just make sure you come back. I will do a video on that. While you're here, go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification, notification bell so you don't miss another video. 
Look at that K. Anybody with a K in this y'all day want me to make you a keychain? I got you covered. I got you covered. Look at that R. I, I give you this R, but it's for order. I've been waiting on this to come out so I can go ahead on and mail her stuff. Uh, and I guess we'll look at the F. Everything else is... Yeah, that's pretty hard. Just random letters. I guess we can pull them out. We didn't really need to. Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice. I'll just drill a hole in it. Add the keychain. Some of them I'll put behind a puff ball. I have little wine bottles that I'll hang off of them. So, yeah, that's the deal. I guess I can pull them all out. Clean the mold off. I clean my mold after every use. And prepare for the next order. The purple's nice. And that is the martini. Like I said, I did have this extra. I didn't do these last two. This is a different, this is uh, done with acrylic paint with the epoxy. That's very nice. So yeah, that's where we are guys. I won't hold you any longer. I love it. I will talk to you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, the like button, share it, imposing gestures. Check out the website. And by the way, check out my uh, past video about the Glowforge that I'm trying to get, which this was made using the Glowforge. I need to get that machine. I am going to get that machine so I can make custom items like this for you guys and your businesses and whatever else you want. I have a GoFundMe going with that. Help your girl out, please. Help me out by subscribing to this channel. Help me out by uh, donating a dollar. Well, if you donate a dollar, they're going to take like 30% of that. So donate $2. Imagine if 10,000 people donated a dollar. I'd be good. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. I love you. Talk to you in the next one. Bye.